this is Marquita, Crafty Kita, and I am just here coming to you with a quick tutorial for coloring sheets shirts. I know it sounds a little funny, but it's a cool little way for little kids to add a coloring sheet, a coloring sheet <laughs> on their shirt, and they can color on their shirt and they can have their own personal design. Let me show you today what I'm talking about. So when doing a coloring sheet shirt, we need to find us a nice coloring sheet to use. I go to Google, and in this case, I typed in Dora Valentine's coloring page. You are able to then tap image so that you can only see the different images and pick the one that you'd like. Um, I picked one that had um, both Dora boots and even the map, um, the image that I picked. Um, let's scroll down a little bit more. And here, this is the image that I've selected. We go ahead, we take this image. Since I'm on my phone, you will hold on, hold down the image and it will have a pop-up that says add to photos and you can add it and it will go straight to your photos. If you are on a computer, such as a PC, you would just right tap, right click that image and you will select save image and give it a title. Going back into Cricut, we're gonna hit upload image and here you will see the upload image um, in your photos. You go to the image that you wanted to use. In this case, we use Dora. And it, on this here, you really can't see it, but it has the remove, the remove option selected. There you will tap the option remove the background select next and when you get to this prepare to upload page we will go ahead and make sure when you have a cut or print to cut select print to cut and put your title in this it goes over to your uploaded images make sure you select the image and then bring it on over to your options here in Cricut the largest that you are able to um, do for a print and cut is a 9.25 by a 6.75 that can be in either dimensions either width or height but it cannot go over those dimensions so since we have it set to that we will go ahead and hit make and since this is sublimation, please make sure you take off the bleed and you mirror your image. The bleed is there for print and cut if we were to cut the image out, but we're not going to cut the image out. We just need the image to print itself. So send it to whatever printer that you have and print. I'm gonna just show you once again, the simplicity of sublimation and how easy this craft can be done. So we have our coloring sheet if you notice i fold it in half kind of give me a halfway mark so i can know where the middle of the coloring sheet is since i've already cut off the border lines when i printed it out using my cricut design app so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to flip this over as so lining up approximately in the middle of our shirt here we're going to still do that same old press um of 40, 400 degrees at 60 seconds. There I go messing with my shirt again. Okay, so again, approximately in the middle. This paper here, just like a lot of my um, sublimation paper, doesn't require any type of butcher paper. And this lovely heat press, which is from Fancier Studio. This is a, I wanna say a 15 by 15, might be a 16 by 24. Um, heat press here and we're going to go ahead and we're going to press again 400 degrees 60 seconds and let's work so, here we go all right so let's see what we have here and voila there is the press Dora the Explorer onto the shirt. Okay, so with this image here, you can take little simple um, markers to color on it. You can use, um, they also have like the tie-dye markers that you can use so that the color does not come out. You can use permanent marker if you would like also for this color so not to come out so that your children can actually wear it. If you're doing it just for a simple um, little arts and craft for in the home, you might want to use washable markers again with the keyword in that is washable so that color may come out when you wash the shirt but other than that great little craft um i've also seen others use paint as well you can also try to use the paint and paint right onto it something to give your kids something to do plenty of time 
um, that can have to sit down and just color through this shirt. And it's very, very simple and easy. It's a great craft, something to make easy money with. Um, you know, go ahead and, and try it out. I hope that that works for you. And um, thank you for watching. Have a good one.